Today's going to be a good day. Going to be a good day. Today's going to be a good day. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Katrina. And as you see, I have a brand new heat press. I'm going to tell you all about it. I have finally upgraded my heat press. This is the heat press of all heat presses. And I'm gonna tell you why this baby is the bomb. As you all know, I have so many different various heat presses, but this one right here, oh, this one is special. This is the brand new 16 by 20 semi-auto trans pro heat press. So I had to unbox this baby downstairs because it was really heavy inside of the box. Take a look. So this is the box that came from me from Pro World. And this is as far as it made it. This box is extremely heavy, extremely heavy. Um, it's not moving. And I have a friend here. I thought he had some muscles, but it's too heavy for him. So I'm gonna take some stuff out and take it upstairs piece by piece. So when you open it up, this is everything that comes with it. Just gonna do a mini unboxing down here because I do have to take the stuff out down here. Cords, power cords, and look at that beauty. First of all, let's talk about the color. I love this color heat press. So this is separate. I'm gonna take that out. That's the component head, the brain of the heat press. So I cut the box open so that way we can get to the heat press easier. I'm not struggling anymore with any heat presses. This one is really heavy. Cutting the box open helps you get a better grip on it. We couldn't get a grip on it from inside the packaging. So this will help me transport it better upstairs. So now that I have it out the box, I'm gonna set everything up. I'm gonna show you all its features. Thank you so much Pro World for sponsoring today's video. I'm really excited. Have you ever been excited about a heat press? I mean, really, when you get your first heat press, when you first start your business, you might be excited. But I already have heat presses, but I'm excited because this one has so many different features that my other ones don't have. Oh, I can't wait to tell you and I can't wait to show you. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna set it up first and then I'm gonna go over it and I'm gonna put it to use and I'm gonna see how good it is. So first I'm gonna take off the Velcro strap that's right here at the top. Take that up. Now, as you see right away, this did not pop open. All of my other heat presses popped open time you take off the strap or time you take off whatever is tying it down because this one is a semi-auto. It's manual and automatic. So it can stay closed. Look at that hydraulics. Ah, okay. So it comes with an extra Teflon sheet. I'm going to put that to the side. And it comes with a 16 by 20 platen. This is, of course, slide out drawer y'all already know i'm not getting no heat press that does not have a slide out drawer unless it's a swing away this one is a slide out drawer all right first i'm going to go ahead and show you all the accessories it comes with and then i'm going to set it up so here is the brain the head of the heat press this is the first one that i've ever had that i've had to actually attach but it's really easy really simple i'm going to take this out you'll just have to connect it your LED panel where you have your temperature gauge on the back you have your on and off switch and your power outlet and I believe one of these is the emergency stop but I'll definitely double check that and you connect it by right here three different components that you'll have to connect and I'll do that next and it comes with a really heavy duty pro world heat resistant glove so this is really a big glove. Look at my hand. <laughs> Hopefully I will never get burned. All right. Nice thick glove that we'll be able to use so that way we don't get burned. Love the fact that they threw that in. Manual, the screws for the back. And you wanna know what this is? You wanna know what this is? Let me show you. Not only is this a slide out drawer, but check this out. I can take this off and I can switch my platens. Put it on there just like this. 
lock that in place and now I can have a different size so this is the 8x10 it comes with a few other size platens and I'll show you on the website but this is so cool so I'm definitely gonna go back and get the 6x20 because that one is for long sleeves or leg arms because I'm always pressing something for the sleeve and for the pants leg so I love the fact that this heat press has an interchangeable platen because none of my other heat presses does not. This lever right here allows you to lock the platen in place and change it out. So now I'm going to just put this one back on just like so, slide it in and then, and then I'll take this lever and lock it in place just like that. How cool is that? Just this reason alone is enough to get this heat press. So here is the Pro World website, the main official website. You can come in here and you can buy all your different products from here as well. They have a variety of everything ranging from equipment to vinyl to transfers, all different type of presses that you can imagine. And they sell blanks as well. But we're going to go in here to heat presses and I'm going to show you the heat press that I have right here and where you can get it from. So this is the Trans Pro Plus 16 by 20 semi-automatic heat press. As you see, it's $10.99 and you click on the link and you'll see all the different features that it comes with. These are your measurements of the heat press so that way you can see if it fits into your space. It's 39 inches in height, 30 inches in width, and 17 inches wide. So please make sure it fits into your space. So when you click on each platen, it gives you the price. $59.95 for the 4 by 4 the 6x10 is $74.95. The 6x20 is $99.95. A great buy for this huge platen for arms and legs. The 8x10 is $69.95. That's the one that I have. And the 11x15 is $99.95 as well. All these different platens can be purchased separately. Now, if you don't want this style heat press, you can come in here and you can get the Trans Pro Plus 16 by 20 swinger. So this one is a swing away. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. The swing away heat press. This is another great heat press if you want to use this one. This one is also interchangeable. It's also threadable. So you can't go wrong with any one of these style heat presses. The only difference is this one is the swing away heat press and this one is the clamshell style. So you have the clamshell and you have the swing away. Choose which one is perfect for you. So now I'm going to go ahead and connect the head so that way I can go ahead and get the heat press set up. Okay, really easy, really simple to do. I'm just going to take the other Velcro strap off. And as you see, there are three different things that you'll need to connect and every one will fit in in place. I'm going to set this up here like so. So the first ones you'll take and you'll connect and line up the prongs right in place. They just slide in just like that. That's the first one. The next one you'll take it and you'll line it up right in here as well with the holes. And I'm going to slide that in and then I'm going to screw it down tight and lock it in place. Just like so. And now last but not least, I'm going to take this one. As you see, it has these prongs on the inside. I'm just going to go ahead, unscrew this. This is screwed on for like a safety cap, I'm assuming. Remove that. And when you look in here, it has the same type of prongs. There's these two slots on the side. I'm just going to find those grooves here to line that up and match it. So I'm going to... So I'm going to get that lined up. Boom. Got that in. And now I'm going to do the same thing. And lock that up in place. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So now I'm just going to sit this right in here. And there's some holes on each side. And I'm going to screw it in using the four screws that came packaged with it. So I'm just going to put them in hold it in place and then I'll come back and tighten it. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side, making sure everything is secure and tight. Now I'll take my power strip and I'm going to plug it in right here. Just like so. Now I'm going to put on the handle in the front so that way it's easy to slide out the drawer. 
So I'm gonna lift up this. This is removable. It comes with this um, heat resistant protective removable Teflon sheet for your bottom platen. And underneath you get a nice thick rubber silicone mat, okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And now I have my handle attached. I'm just gonna put this back on it. And I'm gonna tell you guys the rest of the features because we're not done yet. We're not done. You wanna make sure you're plugging this into a surge protector and you want it to be on its own circuit. You want it to be on its own current because it will be pulling a lot of power. Okay guys, so as I stated before, this has a lot of features. The one feature that I really love about this, other than the interchangeable platens, is the fact that this heat press can switch back and forth between a manual and an auto heat press. And let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it on. Ah. This is a big boy. So this knob right here is your pressure gauge. When you turn it, it'll be able to display what pressure you're at, and I'll get to that in just a second. So here we have the LCD panel. In order to set your time and temperature, I'm gonna hold down the set, and I'm gonna press the up arrows. I'm gonna press the up arrows until I get to my desired temperature, and I'm just gonna go ahead and set it for 300 right now. 300, I'm gonna hit the set button. If I wanna change my time, I'll hit the up arrow. 15 seconds on the clock, and I'm going to hit the counter and hit set. When you turn the knob to the right, it tightens the pressure. When you turn it to the left, it loosens the pressure. So the more you tighten it, the numbers will go up. One through three is light pressure. Four to seven is medium pressure, and eight to nine is heavy pressure. So again, when you tighten this up to the right, you're putting on heavy pressure, you're adding more pressure. When you loosen it to the left, you're doing light pressure. So I love the fact that you'll be able to know exactly where you're at, how much pressure you're putting on your garments. But this right here, this mechanism, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. This can flip back and forth. As you see, it rotates. When it's in this position, this makes my heat press automatic. It will automatically pop open once my timer stops. But if I don't want that, I can put the knob upward and now I have the option to have my heat press in manual mode. So when my timer stops, when my heat press goes up, all I'll have to do is lift the handle and I'll demonstrate. So this little device right here, you're able to flick back and forth to change out your heat press from automatic to manual. Yeah, baby. What other heat press is doing that? What other heat press is doing that? So where the temperature is blinking, in order to set the temperature, you're gonna use the up and down arrows. I'm gonna bring that up to 300 degrees. In order to set the time, Time is now blinking, that light is illuminated. I'm gonna bring that down. I'm gonna bring that to five seconds. Now my counter, I'm gonna bring that down to one. Um, I'm gonna bring that to zero. That's how many pressures you do. I'm gonna hit that. So now it's counting down because I have, because I have the platen semi-close. So in manual mode, I'm gonna pull it down. It's down. It's gonna to continue to beep until I come in here and lift that handle. And now the hydraulics will open the machine or you can just pull it up all the way. But now I'm gonna flip that because I'll probably never use manual mode. And I'm gonna go in here, close it. Now it's on automatic and look what happens. opens completely by itself. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you something else. If you're doing like a light press, if you're doing a pre-press or something, and you need to stop it, so it's on 10 seconds, but I only need like three seconds or I made a mistake, I'm gonna hit that emergency stop on the side and it will open up. 
So you can always stop it in the middle so that way you can do like a quick pre-press if you already have your timer set or if you have something misaligned or you just need to open it up really quick. The green button on the left hand side of the heat press will automatically open it. I'm going to do that once again. So I have it down like that. I want to stop it, quick pre-press, hit the green button and it will pop open. I like it, I like it. So now I'm going to press your shirt and now I'm going to see how well it does. But guess what? Normally you would put your shirts on this way and press it. No, 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 no. This is a threadable platen. So underneath the bottom, you will be able to thread your shirts. So now I have to put my shirt on like this upside down and I'll show you how. So right here, you'll be able to thread your shirt. And what I mean by that is, Instead of me laying my whole shirt on top just like this, now I can take the shirt and I can thread it right underneath here and put it all the way in. Listen, how cool is that? Game changer, game changer. And you can line your shirt up right with the handle. So the handle will allow you to get your shirt straight. So right in here is the top of the shirt. So I know some of you might not be used to threading your shirts or putting your shirts in backwards, upside down, but I love this feature. And this will allow you to get your shirt, you know, pressed more accurately. As you can see on both sides, my shirt is all the way underneath. The backing is clear and this is perfect actually for sublimation for those of you who you know worried about your um your ink going through to the other side anything like that so this allows you to press on one side of the shirt and put your shirt flat all the way in so now i'm just going to pre-press the shirt for about three seconds release it comes up really quick it's pre-pressed and now I'm going to take one of my brand new TKO transfers and you have to make sure you remember to put your design upside down. Three fingers from the top. I'm making sure that it is lined up perfectly, making sure it's straight. I'm actually going to bend it, bend it just a little so I can get the center really good. Okay, so I can get my center points. And now, center of the shirt, just like so. I'm going to pre-press that. Now with this, with the TKO transfer, you don't need anything on top. I'm going to press this at firm pressure, firm pressure. So I'm going to show you how you make sure you have the firm pressure. I'm just going to push this, slide this in. And now to make sure I have firm pressure, I'm going to turn my knob to the right to make sure I have firm pressure and make sure I have enough. Okay. So my heat press is heated up to 320 degrees Fahrenheit and I need to have it on between an eight and a nine for firm pressure. And as you see right now, it says nine, nine for firm pressure. Okay, and now let's peel this bad boy up. Perfect transfer. Perfect transfer. I'm excited. Okay, so now, and that feels so soft. That feels so good. Look how well that came out. Everything laid down. Perfect transfer. I know I had the right pressure because of the number settings lets you know exactly what pressure you're pressing at so that way you can get sure pressure every time. Love that. Let's try something else. Okay, so let's see just how fast I can switch out this platen. The lever again is on the side. I'm gonna unloose it, lock it, change it. Boom, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. I need to switch it out really quick, lock it in. It's locked in place, I like that. I can even switch the orientation look at that make sure you pull that lever back towards you to lock it in place again up and down boom locked in place 
Change it back to the big one. Oh, I forgot. I got a bigger shirt. I need to press. I need to put that one back on. Locked in place. That is a quick change. Quick change. You would think. Now, you make sure it's on. There we go. Now, this is great for onesies. What size would you use this for? You can press onesies really quick, really fast, really easy with that. And I just happen to have a onesie. Look at that. I just happen to have a onesie. You can thread this as well. Be careful so you don't pull that toggle underneath. Now because this is small, I probably wouldn't thread this, but you still can. You see? Look how that goes on. This is a smaller size onesie. Why did I grab the smaller size? I don't know. This is a six month. So you can still thread it, but I probably wouldn't thread this one. This size, the smaller size, I probably wouldn't thread, but it's good because you get to keep all of this stuff out the way. Like all of this gets in the way and you, you can't press flat. So you can either put a pressing pillow under here or you can thread it. But this is a perfect size because you can actually hang this off the side as well. And you can press your onesies just like that. Like perfect size. This again is the eight by 10 platen size. But I need the four by four for neck labels and the arm one. So that one would be perfect. So the four by four is a perfect size when you're doing neck labels, when you're branding like the neck labels. And the six by 20 is perfect for long sleeve arms and for pants legs. So that's what I do predominantly the most of. But this is a perfect size platen for onesies. So now I'm going to take my temperature up because I'm going to do some sublimation. This can go as low as 170 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 430 degrees. So it's perfect for sublimation. So I'm going to sublimate something right now. Okay, so I'm going to let that heat up until it gets to 365 degrees. And now I'm going to change out the platen. This is really just way too easy. Way too easy. All right, so let's do it that way locked in place and now I'm going to take this sublimation towel waffle towel perfect for sublimation polyester and I'm just going to sublimate a nice little message on it this is the perfect size for it 8 by 10 I'm only going to sublimate the bottom half because I like to hang it over something a plate or something for a decorative message and I'm going to sublimate that okay so I just have a quick little design here using a sub paper with my printer's jack ink, image is mirrored. And I'm just gonna put that down right on there. I'm gonna just take some heat transfer tape just to the side of it. Okay, small piece of butcher paper. We don't waste paper over here because I can use that for something else. Alrighty. Okay, we're at 365 degrees. I'm gonna take my pressure back down because it doesn't need to be that firm. So I'm gonna do medium pressure. I'm gonna slide this in. And now I'm gonna close this. Okay. And as you can see that number four, so that lets you know I'm on medium pressure. So four, five, and six is medium pressure. Three, two, one, auto open. I'm gonna grab right here and slide that out. I can see that my colors came out. Boom. Waffle towel, perfect for sublimation. Okay, so I'm gonna take the platen off and I'm gonna use my handy dandy heat resistant glove because I do not want to burn myself and I'm just going to lift that up lift it up nice and lightly place that one over there this is a really thick glove a really thick glove okay and now I'm going to put my main platen back on and lock it in place so there you have it. This is the Trans Pro Plus 16 by 20 semi auto heat press from Pro World. The link will be down below in the description box. 
So I know you guys want to know, this heat press comes in at $10.99. $10.99 on Pro World, but I really think it's worth it. My HBN heat press was almost $900. And I don't have all these features. I cannot change my platen. I cannot thread my machine. And I can't switch back and forth from manual to automatic. So this has all of that. The platen start as low as $59.99 all the way up to $99.99. That right there is really inexpensive. You can't beat this deal. This is really a great deal on a heat press. And I'm not just saying that because this thing right here, I can already tell it's a beast. It's way more... Oh, I hate saying stuff like that. So first of all, this heat press is heavier than my HPN. It's bigger than my HPN. Yeah, I know they say sometimes bigger isn't always better, right? But in this case, I don't know. You're gonna have to try it out for yourself to see. If you have this heat press, let me know what you think. I'm really in love with just pressing and just using it just twice. So trust and believe you will be seeing this heat press in a lot more videos. This will be my main baby from now on. I got to come up with a nickname for her because this thing is a sexy beast. So I'm going to be getting more platens. You're going to see it in a lot more videos. And um, now I got to find out which one of my other heat presses are going to be moving because I got to fit this on my counter for real, for real. So definitely check it out. The link is down below. You will not be disappointed. If you're looking to upgrade your heat press or you're just looking um, for a great starter heat press and you're wondering which one to buy because I know a lot of you have been asking me. You don't want to have to keep buying heat presses after heat press. You don't want to start out with a cheap one and it breaks. This one right here is not going to fail you. So go ahead and thank me later once you get it because you will love it. All the bells and whistles without the actual bells and whistles but it has all the features. It's jam packed and it's a great heat press. Now I'm going to go ahead and move this on over to my main station and get it set up because I'll be using this heat press pretty much every single day. As always, I will see you guys in the next video, but you know what to do first. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on your notification bells. That way you don't miss any of my future videos because I bring you weekly content, tutorials, DIYs, behind the scenes of my videos, and great unboxings on new products that's coming out. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, happy crafting, and stay blessed. Bye.